What up, guys and ghouls, and welcome to another episode of Fright Mike. I'm Liz. I'm Sam. And today, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water, da 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 da, <laughs> just two motherfuckers. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time. The time is here. The short awaited sequel. <laughs> For you. Yes. <laughs> yes, the too soon uh, sequel. Uh, yeah, Sam. Mm-hmm. Stay positive now. <laughs> I'm positive. Positive that I hate this movie. Shut the fuck <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's right. If you haven't guessed already, <laughs> we're talking about Jaws 2, the sequel to Jaws. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Even my cat's in the background, I'm like, oh, no, not again. No. I know. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about Jaws 2 from 1978. And uh, as you can tell, Sam is not enthused about it. She's, <laughs> she is, um, it's probably one of our more controversial episodes, not a Jaws fan. Yeah. Yeah. But I put her through this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gave it a shot. I kept an open mind. My mind was as open as the water's. And any, I mean, I just was praying for death the whole time. There's no fucking way. So are you telling me that you don't like this one? Like, do you like I it I still more? don't like the first one the most. Okay. So you like this one more. I like this one marginally more. Because there's more happening? Yeah. You see the shark more? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's uh, an explosion. Mm-hmm. And there's a shark on fire. <laughs> oh, and, like, he's got, and he's got badass scars. Yeah. Yeah, and the guy from Christine's in it, mm-hmm. Arnie, Arnie, Artie, Ar- Artie, Arnie? Arnie, 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 Arnie Cunningham. Yeah, Arnie. Yeah, Keith Gordon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I always get him. He reminds me of Disco Stu. I know, and he's a nerd in this movie too. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, he's always a nerd. Yeah, except for in Back to School. I think he was kind of supposed to be like. Yeah. Was he supposed to be cooler? I don't remember. Or does his dad make him cool? I don't even know. He got a makeover. <laughs> so, it's been so long since I've seen Back to School uh yeah this one is so this one came out a couple of years after jaws mm-hmm. and uh currently has a 5.8 out of 10 on imdb it has a 62 percent on rotten tomatoes that's the score <laughs> i i don't <laughs> know if i'm in the, and i'm not even gonna like factor you into this at all yeah. I, don't, I don't know if i'm in the minority on this of actually liking jaws 2 um three i did not like at all and four was weird but two i didn't mind i think it has its faults for sure but i think overall it's a f- another fun summer movie <laughs> shark movie sure and yeah yeah i just i think i am most confused by it being called jaws to i guess we there's no name for the shark officially in the first movie right no they just called him bruce so why production okay i think i knew that i remembered that Mm -hmm. um i guess i'm just confused that how this is a sequel to the first one being that the shark dies in the first one because it's still the same island same people and this shark, yeah. I feel like, has, like, a like a grudge. But, yeah, but, like, what are the odds? And also, <laughs> the shark having a grudge. The shark. Oh, we need to see Who, the fourth relation, one, then. What's his relation to the, to the Bruce from the first? You I know don't know. I, mean? I don't think it there really is. I think it's just, like, it just happens to be the same island. Yeah. And the same people involved. It just makes me laugh that they're like, this time he, this shark's this out for revenge. This time it's personal. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, was this a... Was that his friend? No, well, because you the know? fourth one is called Jaws for the Revenge. Oh, man. So I don't even know that we can call this one a revenge movie. Yeah. Because there is actually. And Michael Caine's in the fourth one. Oh, Michael Caine. <laughs> oh, you and know. And Dennis Quaid's in the third one. Well. That one takes place at SeaWorld. The shark gets into SeaWorld. I don't. You know what? <laughs> We're not talking about those. Though. We're talking We're not. about the second one. We're not. Because there's no way I'm ever going to watch those. <laughs> it's just, I've, I gave it the old one too. You, you, 
So do you just not like shark movies at all, or you just you just don't vibe with the Jaws um, franchise? Well, I think it fits into that category of like the the period of movies that I don't particularly always care for, like the seventies mm-hmm. films. But this one doesn't like feel slow because isn't that what you usually say about 70s movies yeah the pacing is a little off for me in 70s movies i think this one i just i'm not connected to the story from the first one Mm. therefore like this one to me feels like an extension and i'm like oh god oh (laughs) my god but like i feel bad because like i know i am definitely in the minority like the bot the the bottom one percent of people who've seen jaws like I don't I don't like it I, I've seen it twice now both times were miserable for me I know I got a lot of hate for saying that I'm just speaking my truth I can recognize what it has done for cinema and for people's fears of the deep and sharks and you know crap like that I just don't personally I guess vibe with the the shark thing do I want to get attacked by a shark no that I mean that's horrible you know horrifying um but it, it, as a movie concept I'm like, yeah, was, I don't know I don't know what it is I don't know what it is I feel like um I feel like a mom who feels disconnected from her child you know like <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying so hard and yet that's fine and yet I just don't can't try make that too connect. hard mm-hmm. yeah well and that's the thing is like at the end of the day horror is subjective mm-hmm and movies as an art are subjective so the fact that i got so much hate for not liking jaws and the exorcist too while we're at it i was gonna say i think i don't know which one you got more hate for i think it was the exorcist honestly i don't know i don't know i just know that i did get hate for it and trust me i heard it it doesn't hurt my feelings (laughs) but it was heard you know um but i don't know how you can like and you know i think we joke a lot on this podcast it's pretty lighthearted. like if you don't like this movie you're trash or whatever i don't ever mean that i'm never gonna judge you for liking or not liking a movie whatever unless you just truly are like i'm not even gonna give i don't even want to give it a shot mm-hmm. you know i'm not gonna see salt burn because it's getting to you know it's like those people like i'm not gonna watch game of thrones because of this yeah well okay it i guess it's you're your choice you're missing train. out right and if it's not your thing it's not your thing at least you gave it a shot or whatever like yeah i'm always willing to give a movie a shot Mm -hmm. always because i have been surprised before we've heard it here on the podcast even i've been surprised by movies countless times i go into it thinking i don't like it and i vibe heavily with it Mm -hmm. i think there's nothing wrong with that i'm just being honest i guess i'm being (laughs) controversial yet brave (laughs) i feel like you're already coming for the haters before they even come (laughs) it's not it's just kind of like voicing the whole like this is an uh, an opinion based review podcast so like if you're gonna hate me for not liking jaws and jaws 2 that's on your spirit just know it has no (laughs) weight on mine (laughs) i don't carry it heavy on my spirit that's on you i'm still excited to talk about it it still had some fun like this i had a better time watching jaws 2 than i did watching jaws Mm mm-hmm it's just probably not something I'm going to watch again. I think, um, you know, we were. I was just bringing up the whole pacing thing. I think the biggest thing with this one is that, it like, the pacing. So, like, what this one makes up for, you know, because with the, the first Jaws, we didn't see the shark hardly at all. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of what made it scary. It was, like, that shark POV under the water. Like, yeah. That whole thing, they were really carving out the story, focusing on the characters a lot. And they do that in this movie as well. But we see the shark more, mm-hmm. a lot more in this one. And there's cool shots too, like uh, like on the back of the, sh- you know, it almost looks like the back of the shark mm-hmm. kind of thing. And a lot of POV shots and the shark goes like through a boat at one You know, it's like, yeah. there's a lot, like, I think you've even said this before, um to me you're like jaws 2 you'll like it a little bit more there's more action to it Mm -hmm. and it's true yeah it's kind of like are you afraid of things you can't see or things you can see and i think that's like the biggest difference with jaws 1 and jaws 2 because it's kind of like because we didn't see the shark but we knew it was there that's like was a whole fear for people for that movie but then this yep. one we'd see him a lot and he's there and he's aggressive and he's just like eating kids left and right i think maybe jaws would have been well, i mean jaws is still effective but like it's interesting because with jaws even though you don't see it a lot and typically in creature 
flicks what you don't see tends to be scarier than what you do see because your imagination will fill in the blank however when you title the movie jaws and you put a great white on the cover i know it's a shark oh, yeah. okay so show me the shark yeah because then that's what's scary otherwise don't include maybe don't cl- include like a shark on the cover and those povs my brain's like well what the fuck is that because it's called jaws but like what is it that has the jaws well, is it a creature is it a shark is it a whatever i think maybe that would have been a little scarier but if i i know it's a shark mm-hmm. so show me the shark doing some shark shit oh you see it a you lot know? in this one you do and i think like what is really fun about this movie too is that there's still they still have even though they show the shark a lot there's still tense moments like when the kids are out parasailing and you know like the kids getting like dipped. yes yes and like you know the shark is there because we can see the shark like the shark pov or whatever mm-hmm. and you're like oh my god he's so close oh he's so close and like the yeah. kid just gets like yeah oh, scooped yeah. back up before like that kind of thing is really cool so it, if we're well, gonna build see- attention right exactly Whereas, like, you know, in the first Jaws movie, we get more shots of, like, you know, the shark POV from under the water, but we know yeah. that someone's getting dragged down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so good. I don't know. So good. And then this shark looks badass. I mean, the fact that they finally worked out a way, because if um, if you remember when we were talking about the first Jaws, they had so many issues with the actual mechanics of that shark. Yeah. That by the time Jaws 2 came, they were able to, like, get something better that actually worked. And because we see the shark so much, it's it's nice that it looks really cool, too. Like, it looks badass, and it's got scars. And when that boat explodes and it, like, gets burned, it's, like, charred and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> it looks badass. Like, he looks like he's been through some shit. He's a war shark, man. <laughs> yeah. Seen some shit. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, this one's... A better time for me than the first one yeah mm-hmm. yeah i think i'll give it that i don't know that i can even say that it's like a revenge type thing because feels personal well it does <laughs> they go after the brody f- i feel like he it's goes always after the brody, brody fam f- yes i like, feel specifically. like yeah like it is that but also there's just people in the water and that's the mm-hmm. shark lives there so <laughs> yeah true it's like they're in his territory right so the shark's honestly doing the lord's work yeah, he says, get the he's fuck He's just out. doing what get, sharks do. What are you doing in my swamp? You know? <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> like, honestly. He says, take your friends, take your boats, and get the fuck out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just doing shark things. Yeah. Everyone, and that's like the thing even in real life when people are like, um, oh, like he got bit by a shark or whatever. I'm like, what? like, and everyone's like, oh, it's outrageous. I'm like, you were in the ocean. Yeah, like you were in his home. You were in his home. Who told, who told <laughs> Why you is to that go surprising? That? Right. Who told you to go out that far? Yeah, it's wild. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't fucks with the uh, I don't fucks with the open water. <laughs> oh no, Mm-mm. no, I'm good. I'll go ankles ankles deep, mm-hmm. maybe to the knee, if it's yeah. if it's nice, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> that dark ocean, not for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll know. I don't mess around. I'm I'll not know. gonna go cage diving with sharks. No, hell no. The bravest thing that I did was uh, I went snorkeling in Hawaii. But I mean, the the worst thing that I saw was like schools of fish. You know. Mm-hmm. It was cold. I was brave. I was scared the whole time, but I did it. I did it. But the thing that made me feel good was that there was like a bunch of other people. So I'm like, some of these people are much older than me. I think I've got a shot. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to get eaten before I right. do? Like I'm a decent swimmer. Mm-hmm. So I I got a shot. Yeah. You know? I feel that. <laughs> I think I went snorkeling once. No, twice. And I, it, it was when I was younger, so I yeah. wouldn't do it now. <laughs> you want to know? So, so I don't know if I'm brave enough. <laughs> it's okay. I just don't like. I get that. I don't like the whole fish thing anyway. Like I don't like to be swimming with fish. It's like it's crazy though, because like yeah. when you're snorkeling, they don't come close. I know to you really. Yeah. Like it's the it's the the diving that I will never do. I'm never oh, gonna get my yeah. scuba, scuba certification. Diving? Never gonna. No, that's that's not my journey. Mm-hmm um snorkeling it takes me a while to get there i have to like really hype myself up i've only done it twice both times i've had like a panic attack at first and then i'm okay yeah um but the first time i ever went was in mexico and there were um underwater statues that was i mean that shit was scarier than any fucking jaws movie i've ever (laughs) seen because it's this um it's this statue um of a i think it was a man 
can't remember if it was a man or a mermaid, a merman, I should say, but he's reaching up towards the surface. And when you are snorkeling and looking down, it's like it's so deep that like the darker water is around him, but you can still like make it. It looks like he's coming out of the deep. No, no, a thousand times no. I didn't even want to swim like over it Mm -hmm. at all. No. And there were people that were like trying to dive down to touch it. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? To get swallowed? That cursed, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> that's a cursed object. Yeah. No, I'm, I don't need that energy. Yeah. No, it's fucking well, weird. And speaking of that, I mean, like, the opening of this movie is the divers that go down uh-huh. to get selfies with the orca from the first movie. Yeah, they said, eh. <laughs> curse <laughs> because you know what there's a shark lingering around there yes he's pay- he's playing homage or paying homage to his homie mm-hmm. rip shark from the first movie and he's hanging out there and so you fucked up my friend bruce yeah oh you? Oh, he snaps Why'd a few photos so? of him though before, yeah. he go- before he gets eaten the shark said let me take a selfie <laughs> <laughs> But first. No, because when they show the photo of the shark later, it's mm-hmm. almost like when you give like your parents a camera. Yes. And they're taking pictures of themselves. Oh my god. Like when uh people... You get like half of an eye. <laughs> Back in the day when you had to try to take photos of yourself oh yeah with, with the, like a digital camera. yes with the digital camera yeah. and you're trying to face it backwards and you get like the right you know your oh, right yeah. eye and that's it mm-hmm. yeah the v- very that yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's, it's it's blurry <laughs> absolutely half of a face oh my god yeah and i like that the what's his face goes up and he's like this is absolute proof that there is a shark on the loose and out for blood and they're like what is that <laughs> <laughs> enhance <laughs> like I do. I love it. It's like those people that are like, "Here's my proof, my irrefutable proof that Bigfoot exists," and you're like, <laughs> "That dot in the woods? What is? What am I looking at? It's that fucking squinting lady meme, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh. all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they get they get got though. Yeah. There's not a lot of blood though. No. I was a little disappointed. No. It's not as much as when he goes, like, up mm-hmm. to bite somebody, and then it's, like, a blood geyser. Yeah. Incredible. He, he chewed up two divers. Uh-huh. Maybe all the blood was in the suit still. Who knows? Oh. Yeah, but I was like, oh. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. Um, but we're back with Brody and crew, who's still... Um, still rocking out on Amity Island. Still rocking it out, even though he doesn't like water. <laughs> I would have moved to somewhere so inland, like Idaho. The desert. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So Moving to believes. fucking Nevada. Mm-hmm. Reno. What I can't believe, <laughs> even beyond that, is how the mayor is still the mayor of Amity Island after everything that we went through oh, a yeah. few years ago. <laughs> and how even still, not only is he the mayor, but he has the gall, the gumption, and the guts to remove Brody as a cop for, you know, for being like, whatever, reckless. But then he's like, he's still, he's like, oh, even though you were correct last time about a killer shark and you're telling me there's another one. Mm, girl, I don't believe you. Oh, you're so wacky. I will say this though, a moron. I think Brody is unhinged in this movie. <laughs> yeah, completely. And he's wearing the shortest shorts I've ever seen a man wear. I mean, that's okay. Number the one, the legs, the short shorts, <laughs> the legs are legging. The legs are legging. Okay, they're out. They're tan, tone tan, fit and ready. They're basically like like brushing his balls. Like <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just strap the man into a speedo and been like, get out there, you. <laughs> Throw him on lifeguard. I mean, he essentially does take lifeguard duty mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. he brings the gun to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, uh, sorry. <laughs> but we're loaded with bullets that have uh, poison in them. <laughs> yeah. And he shoots at a kid. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, oh, my God. He is unhinged. That was some Looney Tunes ass shit in this movie. <laughs> I think he has like, he definitely needed help. Like, after the events of the first movie, <laughs> because he has so much PTSD in this movie. Yeah. At, like, even just the thought you know the, the when they were like oh there was a camera and the divers the second like that happened it was like a that's so raven moment he's like the shark it's exactly back. exactly <laughs> he, he just got he was like back oh my to- god uh-huh. uh-huh he floated on back to like oh, yeah. a few years ago like he yeah he's like yeah. shark it's gotta be shark it's gotta be it's gotta be <laughs> it's the spirit of bruce taking over another shark it's possession this uh, should have been called jaws to the possession Ghost Bruce shark. is back. Yeah, he's taking control. Man. Isn't there like a ghost shark? Isn't that a thing? Probably. There's like a million of those, like you know, right? Torn or not shark nano, but like the uh, there's a ghost pipe giant fish shark under versus crocosaurus. Oh, bitch! Yes, <laughs> that's a whole the Meg. That's, <laughs> that's a whole subgenre of movies. Yes. 
Oh. That's the thing. I I don't even like like to say that I don't like underwater movies or like see, you know like horror on the high seas kind of thing because the Meg it's not horror but it's hysterical. Like I guess loosely horror I suppose, but like that just is like wild can't be fun to me, and I like that. That's what this movie is to me. Like I'm not scared of this movie. I think it's fun. No, oh, no. like I think it's a good time. Throw it on, you know, in the mm-hmm. summer. Maybe outside. Sure. Driving style. Like, mm-hmm. I think it's, like, a, a fun thing to just, like, throw on and be like, oh. Sure. Look at these kids get, these teens get eaten. Wacky <laughs> teenagers on their <laughs> sailboats. They just want to spit it out in the water. They don't want to get a job. Yeah. I mean, we follow these teens for most of the movie, one of which being mm-hmm. Mike from the first movie, who's, who's all grown up now. He's aged, like, 12 years. I know. That's the crazy thing. I'm like, what is the time, like, the difference yeah. in time between, like, the first movie and the second movie? Because I feel like in the first movie, both of the kids were, like, really young. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, Mike is, like, about to go to college or something. <laughs> right. Like, the little kid still, the, like, the younger brother. What's his name? Sean? Sean, yeah. Sean, yeah. Sean's still a little kid. Mm-hmm. Mike, 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he has a family. He's gone to college. He's a lawyer. That's like, what a lot of guys <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah he's like fuck he's like what's his face from greece yeah. oh my you god yeah. the entire cast <laughs> yes, exactly. yeah he's anyone from anyone, anyone from greece anyone from greece anyone from christine mm-hmm. yeah true facts yeah he's a 40 year old teenager most of them are though they yeah. all look a lot older it's wild and all they want to do is go sailing and talk to girls period oh my god yeah Those that summer first, nights that first scene though with the parasailing whoo yeah <laughs> Oh, with the woman? No, with the kid, the guy who goes parasailing. You know, oh, like in the oh, big, like when they're yes. messing around in the harbor still, yeah. and then um, yeah, and they keep dipping him, and that mm. shark. Oh, the shark comes. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I like because that right after that, right, is when he goes for that lady. Yeah, the wakeboarding scene is like so good. He's like, if I can't have Mike, I guess I'll settle for this poor woman. Oh man. And her lady friend driving the boat. It's so good because what's so great about it is just like. The the way that the the fin is like following her mm-hmm. the whole time, yes, and nobody notices. Well, no, yeah, I mean, it really goes to show what a terrible boat pilot that friend was. Mm-hmm. First of all, she loses the gal. She loses the gal. <laughs> yeah, and then when she realizes like what happened, like because he just like eats out of the water and snatches mm-hmm. her up and like brings her down, and then the friend goes to turn around and doesn't see the girl and then sees the the shark and this is like the thing about this movie the shark in this movie he is like not afraid to like get all up on that boat yeah like he is like slamming his head in there and he slams through the boat and yeah. she's trying to like set the the shark on fire but in turn like dumps all the gasoline all over idiot. herself idiot <laughs> lighting herself on fire and the fucking boat explodes yeah She's like, I think it's still a good idea just to fire this flare gun. Yeah, let me just... <laughs> yeah. Before, like, I would have jumped in the water at least before I, you know, like, jump and then, like, do an action shot. Like, oh, you know, fire the flare gun. Damn. Like, Matrix style. Oh, yeah. She's like, no. Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's all good. I think it's going to be fine. Right. I know how I know how this works. That shark really fucks up that boat. Mm-hmm. And then she... Ugh. I yeah. know. So she, she blows that shit up. Yeah. Rest in peace. Is. Good thing that old lady was watching them the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> There's always someone that saw something. Mm-hmm. You know? Always a witness. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, and the couple. Yeah. They see the whole thing, too. And then I think... Shortly- I don't know what happened. They were just having fun, and then they had an explosion. Next thing I know, the boat's kablooey. It reminds me of... Uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. Yeah. You've seen that? You've seen that, right? Mm-hmm. When she's like... Uh, after the trailer, the trailer yeah, explosion, the trailer. she's like, I, I sat down to open a beer and kablooey. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that can stop me from being me is me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I hope I just so didn't good. blow her own ears out. That's so good. <laughs> it's just like Anthony Robbins said. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so there's a big old search uh, for anything. Yeah. The cops are searching the water. And uh, they they almost get dragged under too. Yeah. Oh, because then they find that power line. Because remember, he's like, "Oh, you, I want you to go." Like, because he this is when he suspects. He just like knows. He's mm-hmm. got that inkling. Like, there's the shark. A shark is afoot. Like, let's go. Yeah. So he sends out his like deputy, and the deputy's like, "I don't, I don't want to do this." And then mm-hmm. they find the power line, which comes into play later. Of course, of course, it does. Yeah. You can't just introduce a gigantic ass power line without 
consequences. Yeah, but then the next mysterious thing is that that whale comes rolling out. Up yeah, the from teens the shore. find it. Mm-hmm. They're just like LOLing, having a good time, and all of a sudden, whale carcass mm-hmm. that has a big old bite in it. Yeah, it's giving the craft. It is. Enjoy the podcast, like what you hear, and you want to hear more? Well, you're in luck. We have a Patreon. That's right. If you don't know, we talk about new movies on our Patreon. We do monthly rewinds, so that way you can find out what we are watching between our main episodes. Sometimes we craft spooky cocktails to match our theme of the month and watch parties galore. So much fun over there. Head over to patreon.com slash Podcast to check that out. Again, if you want to hang out with us a little bit more then support us over on patreon.com slash fright my podcast and we'll love you forever okay bye mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this is when brody is like <laughs> if he wasn't convinced before which he definitely was yeah he's like measure the bite you know because that lady is there from yeah, measure the bite radius yeah like the the x ex- the 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 sea expert or whatever uh sea creature expert which okay let's talk about that where'd you get your license ma'am because she's like <laughs> shark okay well, she's like, it's not like she's not concerned in the slightest about it. She's like, yeah, an ocean. There are sharks in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, which also like, was she in the first movie? No, I didn't think so. Because I would, if I were Brody, I'd be like, ma'am, with all due respect, step the fuck back. <laughs> okay, this is Amity. He wants answers. He yeah. wants like the proof mm-hmm. that it's a shark, so he can be like, motherfuckers, mm-hmm. I told you, man. If I lived in Amity, if I survived the shark attacks from the events of Jaws. The original, I would have spray ba- spray painted. I would have graffitied the Amity sign to say calamity. Ooh, because that's all this fucking town is. Honestly, one giant calamity. Yeah. Well, here's the thing too. I think that is so different about this movie. Um, with you know, because we're not, we don't have like he doesn't have a team. It's just Brody this time around. Yeah. Well, because he tries to contact what's his face. Cooper. Yeah, and they're like I. He's in Antarctica. Oh, sorry. Is he? Is he doing fucking research with the the crew from the thing? <laughs> Honestly, Antarctica. <laughs> what? I know he's an ocean man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what are you doing out there? Yeah, well, you're not gonna find anything out there. No, I just love that. Oh, he can't come to the phone right now. He's in Antarctica. He's sick. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he he's like amity island no <laughs> right he, absolutely no, not no that man i'm was busy like, <laughs> yeah exactly i do that's what I, what I think is really missing though from this movie is their whole dynamic because he got along yeah. so well with hooper and hooper was like the expert and everything and then there's like quint who's like completely unhinged yeah but now like brody is unhinged in this movie yeah Ugh. because quint dies in the first one right yeah that's who dies okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he gets the one that gets it seems like Brody's mm-hmm. possessed by the spirit of Quint. <laughs> Maybe. He's that damn shark. He's the one shooting into the water with the, the freaking mm-hmm. poison gun. Like shooting sharks in a barrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely wild. I just, I can't get over it. Yeah, the the supposed ex- expert is like, bite radius, my ass. Everything's A-OK here. Nothing to worry about. And then the mayor's like, if you start on this shark nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Brody's totally alone. <laughs> He's like, just he shut up. He's got nothing. No. And yeah, this fucking mayor, man, who is still mayor. I, I I don't even understand how. I don't know. But you know, he's like, well, the beach has got to be open. Right. Beach has got to be. Beach. We're building a hotel. We got to have the people here. Yeah. Stop acting weird. <laughs> right. It's a, is it a hotel or is it a condo? Condominiums? I don't know. A hotel? I, Either they're, way. They're erecting they're, something. They're building something. And that's why, like, his wife is, like, she's got, like, a conflict of interest in this movie, I think, because she's, like, working for the mayor to, mm-hmm. like, promote the condos. Meanwhile, her husband is shooting pe- at people on the beach. Right. It's it's a rough situation. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. The funniest part, though, is, like, I mean, he's correct every he time. You know, you don't want to believe the village idiot. But when he's right two times out of two, like I would give him the I would have given him the benefit of the doubt more. Yeah, oh yeah. In this movie. I would have been like, how about we discreetly research this? If I if I were the mayor, first of all, I'd shut everything down, right? For like beach maintenance or mm-hmm. something. You we're know, combing like, the beaches. Exa- we're combing the beaches. <laughs> we're uh we're working out some uh like we're replacing the air conditioning units, okay, with something. And then I would have discreetly sent like a, a search team. You know, but no, not this guy. He's like, you idiot. We're trying to open stuff here. 
Yeah. We're trying to draw people back into the shark-infested waters of Amity Island, you idiot. Yeah, it's like people forgot what happened here. That kid got mm-hmm. eaten. <laughs> right. On the sho- like on the shoreline. Meanwhile, it literally only takes like a missing two divers to have Brody be like, somebody cooked here. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> some- Something's going on here. <laughs> Not the mayor. Uh, there's blood in the water, man. Actually, there's a body in the water yeah. that he finds. Of course, he's the one that finds it. Of course. And still, even still. You know what they say when you go looking for trouble, it floats up at you. It does. Yes. It's it right in the face. It truly does. I feel like the whole scene is like him having like a stare off or like a, a, <laughs> a stare off and a standoff with the shark because he's like, it's like the shark is like waiting for him to like dip his one toe in the water. Because mm-hmm. he sees like that piece of the boat. And he's like, oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta get it, but oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my but he God. knows, he senses it's there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's got like a shark radar now, and the shark has a radar on him. Mm-hmm. They smell each other. They smell blood. <laughs> they do. They do. Uh, I think him. I think Brody and the shark should have just kissed and made up. Honestly, you they know, know, they got really, they got really close in this movie. That's true. So that's true. I mean. Mm-hmm. Well, he's not in the third one, though. Or the fourth one. Probably for the best. I, well, I did hear that um, Roy Scheider, he did not even want to be in this one. Uh, so I guess maybe that's why he acted so unhinged. <laughs> yeah, probably. He was not. He was. I think he was supposed to be doing another movie. And he had, like, a disagreement with the director of that film. And basically, to get out of his contract, they, they were like, yeah, you can do this movie then. So... He was basically kind of like oh. his hand was forced. I see. <laughs> to be in this movie. I see. To get yeah. Out of that contract. I would have gave it like a C minus effort. <laughs> you know, my acting. I would have been like, yeah, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm here. I've said the lines. <laughs> I'll wave the gun. I mean, he acts crazy really mm-hmm. well. That's true. He's been through some shit. Mm-hmm. Like I said in the beginning, I think he needed some help. <laughs> yeah. But therapy back then? <laughs> no. Well, because the second that he gets back from the, from the station after seeing the body, he that's when he starts loading up the, the gun with the bolt, the poison. Mm-hmm. He's get he is like taking no chances. No, he's filling up hollow point bullets with some kind of what is that cyanide? I don't know. It's like poison. Yeah, cyanide. And then he's coating them in wax. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that's when he takes his his watch at the beach. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and he's a little too skittish because he thinks he sees something and he clears out and starts shooting into the air, shooting into the water. Lo and behold, it's just false alarm. Yeah, it's a school of what? Blue, blue fish. Blue fish? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The guy's like, it's just blue fish. Yeah? Well, I guess you wouldn't be laughing if it was a shark, would you? <laughs> it's not. But <laughs> but you're welcome. Uh this was like the last straw, though, because when he comes rolling in with those pictures and he's like, "Look, a shark guy," they are like not having any of it. They're like, "Well, we'll we'll decide. Let me let, like let's take the pictures and we'll we'll look at it." Right. Comes home wasted, fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised it took that long. I know, honestly, it was like the shortest Amity Town Council meeting of all. They were like, "We're gonna we're gonna consider the facts. We're gonna look over the evidence. <laughs> Give me a quick five. <laughs> yes, you're fired." <laughs> we have decided thank you so much for your time on the force Uh, you know yeah i hope that bourbon treats you well Mm -hmm. i think he needed a break he did he needed a break because he he was about to break i think he did break he yeah he definitely did break Mm -hmm. a little breakdown there yeah just madness yeah and he's like telling his kids he's like don't fucking go to that beach don't go to the beach and what do they do they go sailing the very next day of course mike sneaks out sean catches him he's like i'm gonna tell I don't know if he said that. I don't remember. He's like, you know, guilting him. So Sean ends up going with, it's always a great idea. It's always a great idea to bring the tag along to do something that you're not supposed to do anyway. That's true. Genius idea. Get in trouble together. Exactly. It always ends well. Yeah. They go out on a few different boats. Yeah. Six. Sailing experts. Six goddamn boats. They're sailing experts. And there's the whole uh, diving school class. (laughs) That goes out too. I don't remember that. 
Cause there, cause remember he gets oh, like, spooked uh-huh. be- and that's when he goes up and he gets like, uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. When you go up too fast from diving. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. But, um, not scurvy. No. Nope. <laughs> no, not scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> I, all I can think of is diverticulitis, and that's not it either. Yeah. But I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Your your guts explode. <laughs> Yeah, because the get shark the, was like, right is it the there. bends? The bends, yeah, that's yeah, what it is. the bends, the bends. Yeah, that's what it is. That's yeah, that is what it is. It's, it's the, the bends. Benzels. Yeah, he gets the bends because mm-hmm. he gets like, you know, sharked. <laughs> that's nuts. I feel like I get the Close bends every time I stand up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Lol, woozy here. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like the shark really uh, missed his opportunity there because that whole class of divers were all already in the water. He had a charcuterie of people. Ah. Stop it. <laughs> that fucking pun. Stop it. A shark cuter. <laughs> I didn't even shark- mean to. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even mean it. <laughs> Pan pending. <laughs> a shark cuter of people. Oh my god. That's um, amazing. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's why this shark specifically has like a weird vendetta. Yeah. I against can like that. the Brody kid and his clan. Yeah. You know, and he's he, like, like, I'm going to, I'm going to, he, now he's like, I'm going to fucking eat your kid. Yeah. Cause I feel like everyone that he eats, except for maybe the divers in the beginning, everyone he eats, like he goes to eat Mike when he's like teabagging the water. Right. Mm-hmm. And then when he doesn't get him, he's like, fuck. And then he has to eat those two <laughs> ladies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You bastard. <laughs> and so he goes and eats that lady cause he's pissed. Right. Yeah. Totally. Like, just, I guess I'll settle for her. <laughs> right. Like he's raging. And I feel like everyone else he kills is somehow like connected to the brody clan well and then he's thwarted again because after they get attacked the first time mike ends up like getting knocked out so yeah, they then ha- scooped up well he gets scooped up but he takes like um he, they have to take him back so mm-hmm. he's like well now i'm going after that little sean kid true <laughs> true he's like oh excellent <laughs> there's so many of the, there's so many for that shark to choose from like yeah he's got it but he's got eyes on the brodies <laughs> mm-hmm, exactly exactly makes no gd sense yeah well so there's the couple eddie and tina uh-huh. who go off and like start canoodling on yeah. another boat and in that, the tina tuna boat whatever the fuck its name was they they they're unfortunately like what basically what happens again is that the shark bumps into the boat similarly yep. to like the whole wakeboarding thing and he gets that kid real good yeah well he gets uh, what's his name up. eddie yeah yeah he gets he's in his mouth he slams that bitch against the boat Mm -hmm. and then drags him under and eats him he said you will suffer and then you will suffer some more well yeah he snatches him up and he's like riding back to the boat Mm -hmm. with him in his mouth Mm -hmm. and fucking tina is useless as shit because i know like you know obviously shock and everything but she just like he's like help me he was on the side of the boat and she does nothing she's just like oh god Oh, I've done everything no. I could possibly do. Yeah, yeah, I, I did all I could. <laughs> I, I really did. It's like in uh that's an that's another movie um that we reviewed for the pocket. Twenty eight yeah. twenty eight weeks later, right? Yeah. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Where the dad was like the mom's like, Don't we leave did me help you yeah, and he tells his kids I, you know, I did all I could. It's yeah. a common theme. It's a common theme in these Revenge of the Sequels. Oh. I really tried. <laughs> did all I I gave it my all. <laughs> man poor tina i know yeah well then they like uh because brody ends up commandeering the sheriff but well i guess yeah he yeah he finds out about the diver then it's like confirmed he's like oh my kids are out there fuck this i'm taking the boat and the new sheriff is like oh yeah your uh your friends are out there right Mm -hmm. you like tell right yeah yeah right yeah he's like oh yeah the boat with all of them on it and that's when they find tina in the boat Mm -hmm. and he's like She's a sh- 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 shark. Shark. Yeah, an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But he's out on his own now. He's like, everybody go back to shore. I got this. Yeah, well, he's like, go hop on that party barge over there. I'll commandeer this police boat. Poli- they just and they just let him. Oh yeah. They're like, even though you were fired, shamed, disgraced, disbarred, disbanded, mm-hmm. go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and take our police boat out on the, the on the waters there aren't a lot of police on this island because every time yeah. they go back to the sheriff's station it's like him his like number two guy who's yeah. like the new sheriff in town and the like receptionist and like <laughs> one of the clowns from killer clowns from outer space yeah. puppet- puppeteering still literally yeah. like there's like nobody so i'd yeah. be like oh we fired the sheriff i guess i guess we only have one left <laughs> I, yeah like we fired sh- we fired the sheriff 
We'll hire the only other guy in the station. Congratulations. You, you just man, got you're a promotion. Charge now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ever been a sheriff before? Perfect. You are today. You're the perfect man for the job. <laughs> exactly. My no, God. Just don't look for sharks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then oh. we got the, the witch's tit or whatever picks up Mike. The witch's tit. Yeah, the boat is called like the witch's <laughs> the witch's brew, witch's tit. What the hell is it called? I don't know. Did I even write it down? Did I even care enough? I don't even know what you're talking about. The boat that picks up uh, Mike. The boat. Doesn't he get picked up by those he two gets, guys? He gets... Uh, no, it's just two of the friends bring him back because they're like, we got to get Mike to a hospital. He's knocked out because the, then the shark just plays bumper boats with all yeah. the kids and kids are flying out into the water left and right. Yeah. Boats are going into other boats. He really yeah. fucks their shit up. I th- swear to God. And I that's th- when they start uh, tying all the boats together. I thought there was a boat that comes to pick up Mike because he's like unconscious in the water. Yeah. And I swear the- to God, it's called like the witch's tit. Well, well I, not I tit, but. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I know that two of the, the friends bring them oh, okay. back in the boat that they already had. Okay. Well, that, the boat. Which I feel like you could have fit more people in that boat. I'm just saying. It's Take it, the kid back. The little kid. Anything with the water. It's like you could have, like Titanic. Uh-huh. Jack could have fit on the door. I mean, the lifeboats could have held more people. That's 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 not the point. The yeah. fact is people on the open water are careless. So like, we can really only take one other person. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that they just, like, leave the, the little kid. They're like, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll go get help. Right. Mike's 45 years old with a kid, you know, a kid on the way. Like, we gotta we gotta capture him first. Well, and it's, like, it's great because the shark messes with them the whole time that they're out there. Because basically they're all kind of just, they tied all the boats together, like, what's left of the boats. And it's just, like, little pieces. Mm-hmm. And, like, every time the shark comes and, like, bumps into them, like, five of them go flying into the water all over again. Yep. Yep. Oh, you know what's like the most gruesome though is the girl who's with sean oh man <laughs> when she when she gets like pulled under she's trying so sean falls into the water and she's trying to help get him back up and in turn gets eaten herself brutal and sean's like shell shocked because of it but she's a hero she is yeah she saved a kid she's the only one that was nice to him yeah i guess that's the appropriate thing to do i yeah. can't say that i would have done the same <laughs> kid bait <laughs> hey all i'm saying is my my uh survival instincts you know or they'll take over oh my god so then this is like the best scene in the movie i think <laughs> the harbor patrol helicopter oh my god actually i don't know if this is the best scene i really like the weak boring one it's too. like the craziest like i it's, mean it's just incredible are we kidding <laughs> it's me? incredible our week yeah the, the police helicopter the chopper lands on the water and he's like you kids are gonna be okay and they're like sick nobody mentions like oh by the way there's a shark circling us Mm -hmm. he just touches down in the water and they're all like you know yay i bet because they're like probably they're like i mean there's no way that this helicopter this big heavy machine no way a shark could take it down took down the boat in the first movie yeah that was big well okay now bruce i in my mind that's a great white of legendary size. Like, the way they talk about him, like, you know, like, like a doll's eye. You know, like, <laughs> he's like the fucking demon, a demon of great whites. This one, don't know him. You know what I mean? He's, just he's like, an annoyed brother. He's <laughs> yeah. He's mad. Yeah. He, he's just like a, a an enraged teenager with too many feelings. That's why he eats the teens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this shark comes out of nowhere and he's like. Takes it oh. down. Yeah. Takes down the whole goddamn thing. The driver <laughs> or the pilot. I refuse to believe that pilot's dead, though. The pilot. Where's the geyser of blood? I don't know, but the freaking mm-hmm. helicopter blades almost take out all the kids. Yeah. Oh, that would have been great. The shark would have real. I mean, at that point, Feast. you might as well. He would. He would have literally. Mm-hmm. He would have touched the surface, like gotten the blood spray all over. <laughs> yes. Yes. He would have been dancing in that water, dude. It would have been like a great, like an eight for one, you know god i know like a kill blood. one get eight free <laughs> you know Mortgage exactly that would have been amazing uh, but i guess maybe they didn't want like an r rating or something because yeah. isn't this rated pg isn't this pg or is I, pg-13 i think this one was still pg because the first one that's was pg why, right that's what i'm saying they like, didn't have an r rating or they didn't, they didn't have, have a pg-13 PG rating so yeah. maybe they were like eh i guess we gotta keep the blood enough. spray to a minimum yeah don't want that r rating I don't know why I find the first one more disturbing with like how 
the way that he like eats the kid in, in the first movie yeah it seems so much more violent <laughs> yeah than like anyone who gets eaten in this movie was other that- than uh eddie yeah well, and, like, the thrashing around of the woman in the first one. Yeah. Like, screams. Like, it's visceral. Right. Well, and that's terrifying because, like, you don't see, like, you don't see the shark, um, but, like, you can tell, like, how powerful it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, that I don't mind. It's, like, those, I don't know. It's, like, every, it, you know what? This movie is not about, th- this is not about the first Jaws. Well, I know, but I'm this just saying, like, the-, the stakes seemed higher in the first one. And yeah. I don't know if it's just because, like, this one is just kind of, like, kooky. Yeah. I just I was gonna go into a whole thing about how like even though I think that you should have seen the shark more in the first one, it's still creepy in the beginning that you don't see it right away. But they yeah. should have showed it more. Yeah, because it like really leaves you like, oh shit, how big is this shark? You know. Mm-hmm. But I guess yeah. With I, all the... See, I don't mind that you don't see it a lot in the first one because when you do fucking see it in the end, it's like holy shit! Like this thing was like, like the shot is cool. Is like freaking huge. Yeah. yeah, and I mean it was like a massive thing, but like. And that's why I think it was more disturbing when he takes the kid under and then there's just blood spewing out. Yeah. From and the that, water. Yes. Whereas this one, there's a lot of like taking the kid under and like we don't see anything else. Right. And there's like no blood. Yeah. In the, I feel like there's really not a ton of blood in this movie. I don't think so. Which is disappointing. They all spent, they spent all the money on that chopper shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Uh, and it was, it was cool. Yeah. But I don't know. And then there's like a cable island something. Yeah. That they all it's like a barge. Yeah. It looks like a barge. That's where that power line goes. Yeah. Yeah. So Brody eventually does find the kids, uh, but the shark comes back. <laughs> and he's still crashing the, he crashes the boat into the barge, trying mm-hmm. to like basically do boat. what that other chick did with the other, you know, the wakeboarding. Right. The one who blew herself up. Right. But he ends up crashing his boat, so now he can't even get to the kids. I know. Until he notices the power line that's laying in the water, and he's like, oh, light bulb. He I'm says, a- I'm going to use the power line to kill this shark. Hits play. So stand out <laughs> above the crowd. You Honestly. Know, like, <laughs> he does the perfect cast. <laughs> Literally. He's like, I'm going to lure this motherfucker yeah. right here. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be the bait. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Man, he had that adrenaline. It's like what they say with like moms, like how they can lift a car. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he had that when he saw that shark circling his kid in that boat. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, though, I have to say because like I think this every time I see this one, Jackie, the girl who's with Sean now, yeah, like, the one that everyone was like, they're like, oh, oh god, god. You're so hot. yeah, insufferable, <laughs> insufferable. <laughs> she screams so much in this movie. Mm-hmm. Or it's, this scene, I guess. Like, oh, it's like Texas Chainsaw too. Oh, like it's like the aggressive screaming. Yeah, this it's like an exhausting. Even that one kid like screaming. slaps her around or wants to. Mm-hmm. He's like, mm-hmm. shut up! You're gonna fucking attract the shark. Yeah, really. I know she's hysterical. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess he didn't have that many other options other than the cable, so he made the the noise to get it to go there, and then, oh, my God, but the shot when the shark does come out of the water, it, like, gets, you know, got, oh. The electrocuted? He's like, he, like, yeah, he's mm-hmm. electrocuted, yeah. and he, like, blows up. He yeah. He crisps. It's, it's wild. <laughs> it's, it's truly something. <laughs> it's true. You had to be there. <laughs> you, you had to be there. Can you imagine, like, mike and sean when they go back to school they're like how was your summer it was great i almost got eaten by a great white and then i and my dad electrocuted him after he met powerline <laughs> no one will believe you <laughs> yeah <laughs> like okay uh, you anyway. know what's interesting about the whole scene though is that i guess while they were shooting at, like the scene with the kids and all the boats and everything they really were being circled by an actual shark <sighs> like a hammerhead shark oh okay so like i guess I feel like the reactions were probably <laughs> genuine at times. <laughs> probably, yeah. yeah. Those goofy looking idiots. <laughs> the hammerheads, that's a flathead, right? Yeah. Those, they look so silly. With the two little eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're looking at both corners of the room. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. They're they, all derpy looking. They can look east and west at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One eye on each coast. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was, this was, this was something. This is a movie, man. It was. It was a film. Box office gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to Jaws 2? 
No. <laughs> Not really. It's just a fun entry, I think. You know, it take it takes what was missing from the first one, um, and really amps it up to like a whole new heights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It's true. No, I really I think I mm, I think I it was too I guess maybe I'm being too hard on it. Because I like it's it's goofy. It's it's summer it's fun. It's goofy. Man. It's summer fun. It's light. I hate to say lighthearted because teens are getting slaughtered, but it's lighthearted. It's terror on the on the waters. Terror on the open seas. Anna has exactly. like the best tagline. Oh, what is it? Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Oh, <laughs> you did say that. Jaws too. <laughs> you missed my whole intro. <laughs> I was sleeping. <laughs> I was, you were dissociating. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I uh, was associating. elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. What's your rating on Jaws 2? Mm, I'm going to give Jaws 2 like a two and a half out of five. I don't even know what you gave the first one. Probably. Like a one? Probably. No. I I probably had to give it a two. I had to give it at least a two. No? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't either. I feel like I just close my eyes and shoot. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <You> know? <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna give jaws to a three and a half out of five all right because i think it's still a fun time and it's pr- i think it's a good sequel it made me the amount of times i said oh my god in this <laughs> <laughs> but, but how many other like movies do we watch like that anyway yeah well, exactly you know this one just has a shark in it <laughs> yes well that's a, I, yeah that's the thing i just got to get out of my head so much i think yeah. if this movie was called like shark attack i, mm-hmm. I would laugh but because it's jaws too i'm like oh god <laughs> okay so the name is what is, is doing it for well, you you know, you know it's like I, we've talked about this before on the podcast you know how like uh a movie like let's say like halloween ends right mm-hmm. because oh, it's called yeah. halloween ends you're like mm-hmm. that was dog shit but if it was called like something else right like mad teenager emulates serial killer you know something like that it wouldn't be terrible because yeah. it's not a terribly made movie it's not a terribly acted movie so you're saying it's a terrible jaws movie <laughs> i'm saying it's a terrible jaws mo- no i'm saying jaws is a terrible jaws movie. no i'm just gonna <laughs> no but yeah like i if this was called like shark attack i probably would have gone into it with like a like a more positive outlook but it's like you know when you hate something so much that you have to watch the sequel to it you're like oh god i don't even know why you hate the first one so much i don't either i wish i could I tell you i've I talked to my th- therapist about it several times i know you thought it was boring but like i did I don't know, man i did it's so good i can't help it and i missed the team i mean i know quinn got eaten but like oh that's what was missing from this one right right they're Maybe. like arguing and i don't know yeah yeah instead this one just relies on like get the teens yeah Brody just taking charge of everything. Yeah, like a unhinged man waving a gun around <laughs> with poison bullets that literally didn't really equate to anything. He was so unhinged that he hopped on that power line in the ocean and lured the shark in. Yep. Oh. Yep. Man. Incredible. Incredible, Incredible set stuff. Of I say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But let us know what you guys think about Jaws 2. Uh, how do you compare it to the first one? You think it's fun? You think it's ridiculous? Let us know. Hit us up on our socials. And if you have time after the episode, hit us up with a five star rating and review wherever you're listening. And we would really appreciate that. Until next time, I'm Liz. I'm Sam. Rest, Rest in, in peace. peace.